Hi, how is it going? Let me show you steps on how to create a very creative daughter in Corel 2021. Without further ado, let's step into it. So right now, go ahead and change the drawing page to A5. Then you go ahead to your rectangle to let's create, you know, an object on top of that. You know, fit it, fit it in. Then you go over to your what they call color dropper to sample this color right here then you pour it on top of the object so after all of this let's make a copy inward just like so then you go ahead and make it a little bit you know smaller just like so let's change that to white so after all of this what we need to do next is to go ahead and just you know right click to convert the object to call then you go ahead and locate uh locate uh <coughs> smear tool so let's drag drag just like so let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger density of the two so let's go ahead and just drag or better still let's use a uh, swipe two let's go ahead to the smear two Maybe then still a little bit bigger, so let's make it you know five. Let's make it fourteen. Drag it down just like so. So after all of this, what we need to do is to backlit this picture into the box. Then you go ahead, let me show you how to backlit. Select the picture, then you go over to object, then you locate backlit, place inside frame. Select the frame, automatically snap into that. So right now, let's adjust the picture to fit in. So we are going to create, you know, uh, we are going to make this picture pop out of the what it call the object so let's try and uh, adjust the picture just like so then make a copy of the picture then okay, center it within the previous one right click on the picture extract the content then you go ahead select the picture let's go ahead and select shape to then let's range it from the bottom then Hold control key on keyboard. Then you drag with your control key hold down on your keyboard, delete the content in which you uh, extract the content out of. So right now what we are going to do is to right click on white to set the hard light to white. So let's go ahead and hit on F12. Let's change the thickness to 16 it's okay go ahead again let's check on scale with object then behind view it's okay good so right now we are going to do let's just park clip this uh, background into this place then hold control key select the hub there then you hit control put down your keyboard to send that to back good can you see that so right now what we are going to do is to go ahead and just reduce the thickness of the of the peak of the outline I think that's okay so let's go ahead to uh, shadow to apply shadow to the objects so let's go over and just stack in the what's it called the shadow let's give it 90 that's nice go ahead 
to your object then you locate break drop shadow apart automatically breaks so right now what we are going to do is to type you know the name of the lady so let's type let's celebrate celebrate change to white So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and just change it to Trijan. So let's hit Ctrl K to break the test into pieces. Then you bring the chain downward. So what we're going to do now is to go ahead and just let's change the font to. Uh, Juliet then you make it bigger so what we are going to do now is to just bring in this so we are going to create you know a circle around there then you go ahead and change that to red then locate your what's it called transparency to interactive field to let's apply gradient effects change that to the color right after that let's just right click to set the half line to white then you go ahead hit on f12 change the thickness to 3 check on scale with object behind fill hit ok then you center back just like so center it within the that's just like so good so right now what we are going to do let's just apply gradient effect to this Go ahead to your what you going to add to fill to apply it on that. Then you double click to add a node. Let's change that out to black. So let's reduce, squeeze it a little bit. Then right click on white to set the outline to white. Or better still, let's make a copy. Make a copy of the uh, test center to the previous one. Then let's go ahead and just right click to set the outline to white it on f12 then let's make it four good so right now what we needed to do is to go ahead and uh, apply gradient apply a shadow effect with the shadow tool then let's go ahead and just change the darkness to 90 then go ahead to object locate a uh, break drop shadow apart automatically place then you group it all up so right now all we needed to do is to just position this up a little bit bring this down a little bit it has to be smaller then bring it up a bit good so what we're going to do now is to let's just go ahead and just make a copy of this then you set the outline to black then go over to hit on f12 then make the outline darker center it within the previous one hold control down then you tap on page down your keyboard takes you here so right now what you're gonna do is to just right click on this color set the color to that so let's go ahead and just make the outline a bit you know a bit lighter okay good bring that sh the shadow a little bit good so let's go ahead let's adjust the let's celebrate 
go ahead to your what's it called shape tool increase the tracking then we use it a little bit centered within the jota then let's bring it down a little bit good so right now what you're gonna do is to copy this background to the other side then let's make that a bit lighter so what we are going to do now is to create uh, something right here at the back so that we'll paste this picture again to the back so make a copy of these uh, objects it's on control to for a repeat then select this to squeeze it a little bit so right now we are going to perform magic right here it's on shape 2 click on shape 2 then you hold control key on keyboard drag this inward likewise this side drag it inward go ahead and drag this inward then you go ahead to drag this angle inward select the three of them then squeeze it a little bit position it to the center click once again then you rotate the group it all up so right now let's make a copy of this extract the content then you go ahead and just park clip this into place good put out gear keyboard select the picture then adjust it just like so good so right now what we are going to do we are going to center uh, sample this color right here without uh, color eyedropper too so let's just sample this color right here with a white sample good point right here so what we're going to do is to right click on white to set it to white then it on F12 change the thickness as to 17 go again let's check on behind view then let's make it 9 points it's okay good so what we are going to do now is to go ahead and just you know apply a shadow effect with a shadow to then let's try and darken the shadow a little bit good go ahead to object locate break drop shadow apart automatically breaks so right now let's try this content then let's go ahead and just bring it here so let's go ahead to uh interactive field to transparency to click on that then you go over to this place click on multiply or better still subtract multiply will be okay so right now what you're gonna do is to park clip this into place hold out keys select hold out key select the object release your out key then adjust just like so good so right now can you see that so let's make a copy of this background extract the content then pack clip into place adjust it just like so good so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now